Hey, hey, my friends. Welcome back or welcome if you are new. My name is Sammy and welcome to this new series on my channel. I am going to start doing what's for lunches. I figured I'm making them anyways and I had just a little bit of encouragement from some really good friends on here and they know who I'm talking about. So anyways, I just figured I would go ahead and start recording what I take for my lunches on a daily basis. Some of them you might see me put together at work. Um, and some of them you might see me packing up the night before, but anyways, it'll be delicious. <laughs> but I just figured it would be something new that I could share with my friends on here. I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, or the series, I should say, if you do, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. Should I continue them or mm, nah? But I enjoy making content for you all and I really hope y'all enjoy this series as well. So without further ado, let's get in to this video and see what I take for lunch. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Hey y'all, so um, right here I'm getting ready to prep up some chicken salad. This chicken salad recipe came from a family member, so um, they're okay with me sharing. So what I'll do is just type up a recipe for you all, and I'll try to put it in the description box and on my Saffron app. But anyways, you start off with some shredded rotisserie chicken. I just pulled that off the bone, and then seasonings are um, black pepper, cavenders, garlic salt, and then you'll also want some dill but you'll see that here in a little bit and then hot sauce sweet relish um, yellow mustard and of course the yummy yummy dukes gotta have the dukes or any mayonnaise that you prefer <laughs> but what you'll do is just make sure you have all your chicken cut up however you like it or just pulled straight off the bone and that's what I have here I probably have about two pounds of shredded chicken I'm going to put about a cup of mayonnaise to a cup and a half, depending on how much you want, and then just season it till your heart is happy. You'll put about um, three quarters of a cup of sweet relish, about two tablespoons of mustard, and two to four tablespoons of the hot sauce, depending on if you want it spicy or not but we like it that way. And then here in just a little bit, um, I remembered that I did not put the deal in right here. So you'll see me add it here in a second because I tasted it and I was like, wait a minute, right there's the deal. <laughs> so you just sprinkle till your heart's happy there too. But if I had to guess, I would say it's at least um, about a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half. So you'll want to stir that all together too. And that dill really, I mean, it just brings out the flavors with it. It's, I don't know, there's something about this combination. I would have never tried it before, but I did. And I'm glad I did because it is absolutely delicious. So you'll just leave that sitting in the refrigerator. And here I am going ahead and getting my lunch ready. So I just did a chicken salad sandwich. I'll toast the bread, put a little bit of mayonnaise on it, and then I put my chicken salad on there and then top it with um, some lettuce. If I had tomatoes, that probably would have went on there too, but I didn't. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and get that ready. And then I'm slicing up a cucumber here, which I'll just put salt and pepper on it and slice it up to have that with it. And then I'm just gonna serve it with some um, Doritos. Gotta have a little bit of a crunch with everything else. So anyways, that is gonna be my lunch for this day.
Okay, so since I'm just starting this um, a new series on my channel, um, I wanted to have another recipe in here. So I figured I'd throw in a breakfast for <laughs> this morning at work as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and make me a cup of coffee. And then I'm toasting up um, some blueberry bagels that I got from the Food Line Deli because they are absolutely delicious. They are so good and fresh. They've got like big old hunks of blueberries in them. And then I'm using the strawberry cream cheese on top. It's the perfect combination. Generally, I like the whipped strawberry cream cheese or the mixed, um, I think it's the mixed berry whipped cream cheese by Philadelphia. But this works. So <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and slice that bagel in half and get it toasted up. And then I will add on um, the cream cheese once it's done. And then that's going to be breakfast. I know this is supposed to be lunches, but like I said, I wanted to give you a little bit of something since I started it so late in the week. But I really do hope y'all like this series. If you do, leave me a comment below and let me know what you think about it. And hopefully the next time I'll have, you know, a week's worth or at least more than just two lunches and a breakfast. <laughs> so <laughs> anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and continue on and making my coffee and my bagels here and then I'll see you on the next lunch idea Okay, so this was Friday's lunch. We just decided to have an easy Friday lunch and we went into our local osteopathic school. They have a cafe there. They have the best salads. I'm telling y'all what, it is so good. And their ranch dressing, mm, so, so good. So this is the Southwestern Fiesta salad. And I don't know, it is just like the perfect combination. It's got um, roasted red peppers, black beans, corn, cheese, lettuce, um, tortilla strips, and then the southwestern chicken on top. Oh, it's so good. But that is it for this What's for Lunch video. I hope y'all enjoyed it, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. God bless, my friends. Bye.